Hey, how you doing out there in YouTube land? This is Stiletto coming at you from the wild, wild west. Hope, hope today everybody's doing fine and everything's, everything's okay. Today is the 7th of January, 2021. And I have a couple of unboxings. couple of unboxings. This one, let's talk about this one first. This one's already been opened. I already checked it out. I was going to do a video on it yesterday. I received it yesterday. But then I discovered something about it. it made me hold off and have to contact the seller and eBay. This is an eBay purchase. And it was an eBay purchase for a... Steel Tiger Karambit. Cold Steel Steel Tiger Karambit. And this is what I received yesterday. And I'll tell you what I'm talking about on this one. It says Cold Steel Japan. On this side it says Steel Tiger. Yep, Steel Tiger. Now if you notice where the Steel Tiger is, where the steel is, there's supposed to be a registered trademark there. An R with a circle around it. A registered trademark and there isn't one and also if you look at the the grinds on the back of the spine and the grinds on the edge and the bottom of the spine the base of the spine and the, the tip and it could barely cut computer paper so when it barely cut computer paper, that rose my suspicion about it. Because <laughs> this is supposed to be a brand new knife. Factory brand new. When I first saw the Japan, it sort of threw me out because I knew probably none of the Japanese cold steel karambits were, you know, the steel tigers were even left. I, I assumed that they would all be Taiwan now. And should be labeled Oz8A Taiwan. And the new ones would have the registered trademark after the tiger instead of after the steel. This model, the Japanese model, is supposed to have the registered trademark after the steel, and that doesn't. The handle looks perfectly fine, but the blade has some flaws. And so that brought it to my attention. I went and did some research. I compared it to other ones that I know are legitimate, and they all have the registered trademark on them. So this one's a counterfeit. And I've contacted eBay and the seller, and it will be going back to them for a full refund. No. He, offered to, he offered to give me a, a discount no. and just keep it, but I don't, want, I don't even want to keep it because I'm, I'm not into counterfeits. I don't do counterfeits. And so it has to go back. And so that's what will be happening with this one. This is a cold steel karambit. It's a four and three quarter inch blade. And it was advertised as being a cold steel karambit and the picture of the one that they had on the listing page had the registered trademark on it. So they had a real one for their advertisement and a fake one that they're selling. So I'm just letting you guys know about this because, you know, I don't know if you're like me, been trying to get some of your last minute cold steel stuff before it gets too expensive and it goes extinct. That, um, just be careful because there are counterfeiters out there. There's a lot of people who counterfeit from China, counterfeit, um, cold steel products. And this one was, um, came from, uh, I think it was Miami, Florida. And so it didn't come from China's and it had the registered trademark. So I thought it was a legitimate product and they listed it as a legitimate product, but it's not. So be careful. That's all I got to say. If you get a cold steel that has a really bad edge on it, I don't know if you can see how uneven this edge is, but the edge is like really bad. And I know cold steel didn't sharpen the edge like that. And if they would have, they would have marked this one as a second, not as a first quality item. This has the worst edge I've ever seen on a knife from cold steel. So, but you know, it's not a knife from cold steel. It's a, from some Chinese factory in China or something like that. That was making copies of cold steel stuff. I don't even know if this is real Oz 8A. It might be something else. It might be some 6CR 
whatever, Chinese steel, whatever. But the handle feels right. It's just the, everything else isn't. So I just thought I'd put that one out there and let you see that one real quick. I've already found one that's a real one that I've ordered. Because I want to have one of these in my collection. Maybe a couple of them. I might get two of them. I don't know. I want to have one of these in my collection because I've always liked the karambits. And I just never got one because I had the folding karambits. <laughs> From Cold Steel. But this is actually a really nice size. It looks like it'd be a nice EDC knife. If you're able to EDC on fixed plates where you live. It looks like it'd be a nice EDC knife. Anyway, that's enough for that one. And it came in this box. The box looks all, all real and everything like that. It had me fold the box and everything. But what mess, messed it up for me, though, was when it didn't have the registered trademark. See, even on the box picture, they show the registered trademark. Makes me wonder if this is a real box. I don't know. I just know this is not the real, the real coal, uh, steel tiger, cold steel tilt steel tiger. So it's going to go all back the way, I, the way it came to me. I'm going to get sent back to the seller. That's that one. That one's going back. Okay, we got a new one today. Let's check this one out. Let's, let's hope this one's not a counterfeit too. This one's coming from eBay also. Oh, opening up today is my Pentagon. My SOG Pentagon. Now it says, thank you, enjoy. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. This is one that, that's an old, very old model. And I just wanted to get to add it to my collection. It's going to be a collector, not a user. And it's one that I never had that I always wanted to get. And I saw it and I went for it. Cold Steel Gun Sight. One of the original gun sights. I think this one was probably from like the early to late 2000, like a, in between 2005 and 2009 or something like that. I think that's when this model came out. I'm not exactly sure. Don't hold me to it. But it's the 29 GLTH half serrated gun sight 2 folder. There's all the information on it. Let's open it up and take a look at it, see what it looks like. There it is there. VG1, stainless steel, stainless Japan. Let me get my magnifying glass, make sure I'm reading everything right. VG1 stainless Japan. Yep, it's one of the good ones. Centered perfectly. This was advertised as a knife that came from a collection and it was never used. And I believe him. This knife looks absolutely brand new. Even though it's probably about 12 years old. Excellent addition to my, to my collection. This is a purchase I'm very happy with. <laughs> Excellent addition to my collection. This is not a triad lock knife. This is the original lockback design that Cole still used to have pre-triad. So this is a pre-triad knife. Hollow ground blade, chisel tip with the half serrated blade, 50-50 blade. And it's got this top 
top file work, factory file work, just like the new gun sight, the counterpoint gun sight. Absolutely beautiful. Three and a half millimeter blade. I don't have all the specs and everything on this. So I really don't know if it's three and a half millimeters. I'm just uh, going to say it's three and a half millimeters because most of the old cold steel knives were three and a half millimeters. Yeah. Let's see how long it is. About nine and a quarter inches. The blade length is four inches. Handle length is about five and a quarter. Absolutely beautiful knife. I am so happy I got this. Make a nice addition to my Voyager collection. VG1 stainless steel, and like I said, I'm pretty sure that this is a three and a half millimeter blade. Might be a little bit thinner than three and a half millimeters. It's in between three and a half and I mean three and three and a half millimeters, I would assume. Excellent plate. Excellent addition to my collection. Well, that's about all I got to show for you, show you today. I will be having some more stuff coming in. I've been trying to get a lot of the cold steel stuff that has been going, that's been starting to disappear on the shelves. I see. I don't know if you've been paying attention to it, but a lot of the cold steel stuff is disappearing. So they're not going to be making a whole replacing all these items that that they had in stock at the dealers. Pretty soon the dealers will be empty on the cold steel stuff. The most popular things, anyway. Absolutely love it. Premium Zytel lockback. Zytel handles, VG1 steel, stainless steel. From Ventura, California. Absolutely love it. That's about all I got for you today. And beware of counterfeits. I would say any of these, any of these that say that they're from Japan, don't get them. Only get the ones that say that they're from Taiwan. Because the Taiwanese ones were the ones that were last made of the scope of the steel tigers the japan ones were made a while back and those should be all gone by now so if you do get one of the, the japan ones it should be a used one I, I i doubt that there's any new ones left they got me on this one it's the first time i bought it ever bought a counterfeit but you know it's only 35 bucks so so you know I should the warning sign should have went up there when I saw the price for 35 bucks I just thought I was getting a really good deal that's a counterfeit and the, the, the real one that I bought I bought a used one and I paid forty dollars for it shipped or something like that and it's the Oz 8 version that's has the uh, stone wash finish and has the same labeling only here it's as a the registered trademark behind the tiger and on the other side it says oz 8a and uh taiwan and cold steel cold steel oz 8a taiwan this one's labeled wrong and the finish on the blade and then the, and the way the blade was done was all wrong I'm glad I caught it though. Yeah, I contacted the seller as soon as I received it. So, that's what's going on with that one. I don't want you guys to make the same mistake I made. That's the reason why I'm letting you know about this. Beware of the Steel Tigers. 
if they're not made in Taiwan, I would say beware of them. Because there's probably, I bet you, eBay has a lot of people selling these fake, these fake steel tigers. Just like there's a lot of people on eBay selling fake, um, what do you call it, uh, uh, Raja 2s. There's a lot of fake Raja 2s out there. There's a lot of fake Spartans out there. Um, there's a lot of fake Voyager XLs out there. What else have I seen a lot of fake of? And that's about it. The ones that main ones you have to worry about. I'm sure some of the fixed blades that Cole still makes, I bet you those have been um, copied also. Like maybe the Trailmaster and you know uh, and some of those other big knives or whatever they have. And I know I've seen a lot of fake Magnum Tontos. Fake Magnum Tontos and fake um, re uh, recon fixed blades too. So you know, be careful. You just gotta be careful. The best thing to do, I always say, is, you know, is to buy from a dealer, from an online dealer like Knife Center or Knife Works or Knight's Knives or somebody like that or Midway USA that, that you know that, they're, that they have real cold steel items. eBay, you always, got, you always got to know your stuff on eBay because there's a lot of counterfeiters that sell stuff on eBay. But there's also a lot of good deals on eBay too. You know, it goes both ways. You know, you just have to do your research and really know what you're looking for. But anyway, gun sight. I'm happy I got this one. It'll be a nice addition to my collection. Peace out. Stiletto. Hope everybody's doing okay.